Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video about um, two pneumatic bridges. I have two here. Um, one of these came on my guitar. This one here came on it. You can tell um, there's no hex nuts on this side. This side, um, you can't really see it, but it moves enough to throw off the intonation because there's no washers underneath the screws. This one here I just got from all parts. This is a official goto. Well, that's upside down. It's a goto or goto or whatever how you pronounce it. This one is just some song il bm whatever piece of crap basically. And my intonation kept falling out on my guitar because of how much the bridges move and just how chintzy it's made. The goto has hex nuts, hex nuts on the one side, so you can tighten it up. Um, these suckers don't move at all. And then each uh, individual screw, you can kind of see there, has a, a nylon wash under it. Um, just a way higher quality bridge. Um, and even everything down to the hardware, like this piece this piece here is the original, um, I don't even know what the hell you call them, the, the anchors that go in the body and the screw tops. Or the adjusters or whatever you call them, you can just tell by looking at it, it looks kind of cheap. And these are the ones... Um, that came with the Goto. Just a lot heavier. They got like a little lip around the top edge. Um, way better looking metal. Um, and one of the things I wanted to show you, um, I have a MH350 NTD. Uh, this is an LTD. And I've changed the one out. I just wanted to show you a quick technique on how to do this. Um, as you can see, this is the new one. How the lip kind of hangs over the body a little bit. This cleans it up, looks a lot nicer. This is the old one. Um, it's like flush in the body. It, I think it kind of looks like crap. But here is one of the techniques that I just kind of basically just now figured out on how to remove these things um, from the body because it is kind of a pain in the ass to pull them out if you're just trying to yank on it. Um, what you're going to do is get some of these and I know you're going to kind of freak out a little bit and be like, holy shit, I'm not going to touch my guitar with that. Well, I have a bunch of index cards stacked up here. This is really easy. You just take the end of this, never even has to touch the body, and that thing pulls right out. That was literally effortless, like the weight of the wrench did it. And then that comes right out. See? You take the new one. This is the, the go show one. You can kind of dust it off a little bit. It's going to bring some, you know, dust with it. Take the new one, and these fit really nice. They do take a little bit of force to get them down in there, but once they're in, I mean, there we go. So now it cleans her up and I can throw my new bridge on there. But I mean, if you're having any kind of intonation problems, um, a lot of times it is just a, a shit bridge. So. Like I said, um, I went with a Goto just because I've had these brand, this brand before. My uh, MH1000 actually has a, um, a Tone Pros bridge on it, which is also almost identical to this one. Just if your guitar came with one of these Chinese pieces of crap, with the flathead screws and no, you know, no hex nuts on this side, that's a good idea to swap it out for a good quality one. Um, I got this on sale. From all parts, the black chrome one for like 50 bucks. So it's not a huge investment, but it goes a long way.